Let's go back to the browser where we're logged in as Heather and see what we can do about adding our image. I'm going to jump back over. And we're currently on the edit page for the home page content. And now when we set up the WYSIWYG for this particular text format, we enabled the image and advanced image plugins. So we have this button right here. Now if I were Heather, I'd probably click this in order to add an image, so I'm going to do that. Okay, and what it pops up is a dialog box that includes some inputs for image URL, description, and title. So if the user has to paste in a URL, that seems a little bit tricky. We went through the process of uploading an image and then gathering that URL to use elsewhere, but that seems like a lot to ask from a site editor. So let's see if any of these other tabs give us some helpful hints as to what to do next. The appearance has to do with, it looks like, some different CSS stuff. Order, class, style, spacing, okay. Let me click advanced. And we have the ability to swap the image and then some miscellaneous stuff like the ID, image map stuff, okay. All this just further complicates the image loading process. If I were her, I would see this and I'd automatically go to these other tabs and explore and find out that it just seems like I have all of these inputs but no image. So we need a simpler way to allow users to add images. Now we're using the media module right now in order to create a central image repository for our site so we can use the images for various purposes throughout the site. So it seems logical that maybe the media module has something to offer in terms of making this process simpler. So let's go ahead and go back to the browser where we're an administrator. I'm going to close this dialog box and jump back. And let's go ahead and go to the help page for the media module. I'm going to click on help. And then I'm going to search for media here. There's media in the M's. Okay. Now you may remember from looking at this page before that it mentioned something about a WYSIWYG. So let's go ahead and look at this again and try to find WYSIWYG mentioned. So under uses, for the third item, it says using media assets in WYSIWYG. And let's go ahead and read through this real quick. It says media module provides rich integration with WYSIWYG editors using media browser plugin. You can select a media asset from the library to add to the rich text editor. Moreover, you can add media asset from the media browser itself using either upload method or add from URL method. Okay, and then it has a list of steps we need to take. First, we need to enable the WYSIWYG plugin on your desired WYSIWYG profile, and then add media filter to the WYSIWYG enabled input format. So there's two steps here, and this brings into play a lot of what you've learned about text formats and filters. So first of all, we're going to go to the WYSIWYG configuration page for our profile and add the particular plugin that we need for the media browser. And next, because this will add some special type of content to our body, we need to then filter that content to make sure that it displays as the image that we intended by enabling a new filter in the text format or input format is what text formats were formerly called. 